Hi, I'm Mike Klemek, and today we're fixing toilets. If your toilet's making noise, maybe a squealing or a vibration, or maybe it's just running, well, by the end of this video, you're going to know how to fix it. No experience necessary. Hey, if this is your first time here, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss anything. The first thing you want to do is turn off the water to the toilet, which is done by this valve right here. Now you may have a mana block system in your house, which is in a closet like a medicine cabinet that controls, uh, that controls the water. So just turn that off, and then you want to flush it. And keep the handle down so as much of the water disappears as possible. Because any water left in here is probably going to end up in your bucket or on the floor. So with the water turned off, you want to disconnect the water supply line. You're going to have a tiny bit of water come out of here. Like so. And most of the water is going to come out from when I disconnect this plastic nut. Now before I remove the nut, the plastic nut that holds this fill valve in place, I'm going to take off this little hose here and then I'm going to go underneath and start removing that nut. Okay, I am pushing down on the fill valve and all I'm going to do is put a little pressure on it so that when I remove this nut, no water starts rolling out of it until I'm ready for it to. So I'm unscrewing this plastic nut. Now when I lift up on this fill valve to take it off, all the water is going to come out. So I want to be ready, so you may not be able to see this on camera. Okay. Just gonna toss that out over the bucket and we're ready to install the new one. So the next step is to install the new fill valve, and you can see that there's a couple of important parts to this. Um, you can adjust the height by simply pulling this out or in, and then you lock the height down with this little collar. It slips down on these little prongs and stops it from moving anymore. Uh, the water nipple is right here. The water is gonna come up from the valve on the wall and refill back down into this pipe, which goes down into the bowl to swirl and wash it. Uh, the big requirement here is to, you wanna keep the top of this nipple above the top of this uh, tube here. And so generally speaking, uh, they want you to put the top of this fill valve here should be about three inches above this pipe. So all this is, we're gonna we're gonna set this back in the hole. And we want the water tube on here head uh, pointed towards this pipe. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get this plastic nut. And we're just going to simply screw this back on underneath. You don't need to see this because it's uh, pretty basic. Okay, and I'm just going to tighten that down. We don't want to tighten it too much. In fact, this nut has wings on it, so I don't even need uh, a tool to tighten it. I'm just going to tighten it by hand. And once it's pretty stiff, that's good enough. You don't want to over tighten this because it'll crack. It's all, it's all plastic. Okay, so that's nice and tight. And uh, all that's left now is to reconnect the water. Okay, I'm gonna reconnect the water now, and there's an important part you need to pay attention to. Inside, inside this uh, coupling is a little conical washer, and uh, the cone shape goes heads upwards, so the fat part of it is on the bottom. You can reuse these, but the kits come with a new one. And that goes on there. Now I always hold on to the fill valve as I'm retightening this because it'll twist and then when you go to hook up the rest of the parts, it's not in the right position. And again, I'm not gonna use any tools. This is all plastic stuff and I don't need to get it super tight. Hand tighten is good enough. And if it leaks, I'll tighten another quarter of a turn. Okay, so that's back on. Okay, before I turn the water back on, I want to adjust the height 
of this fill valve. Now remember we want to get it about three inches above that other pipe. And so I can do that by just lifting up. And this is just going to be kind of an eyeball. I've got the water nipples coming out here. We're well above the uh, pipe there. So I'm going to I'm going to lock this into place by just pushing the collar down. And then we want to connect the water line onto that nipple. And that's just simply pushing it on. I'm rotating a little bit. That's on. Now I want to This is a this is the other piece of the hose. This hose here connects to that nipple and this gets fixed to the side of that pipe so that the water sprays right down the middle. But I want to put this this uh, connection onto the pipe first and then make sure I've got enough room. So that's too long. I'm going to cut that. Give myself a little room. And then push that on. It's a lot easier to do this with two hands. Okay, back onto the pipe it goes. Now I'm going to turn the water on. And that's just reopening this. Now we may have a little tiny leak underneath where the water connections are, but nothing's leaking. And if it was leaking, we would simply give it another quarter turn. So the last thing to do here is to make some final adjustments on this fill valve. You can see here that the water level on this tube is a little too high. There's a, there's a, a marker here that says water level and it's underneath the water. Well, you can adjust the level in the tank with this little knob right there. And basically it controls uh, the height of, the, of this float. This little float is buoyant. As the water level rises, it rises and shuts off. So you can see when I press it down, the water turns on. When I saw it, when I let it up, it goes off. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna let some of the water out of the tank so I can adjust it and see if it works. Okay, so it turned on. All right, so by turning this counterclockwise, I'm gonna force that float to rise up a little earlier. And it just needs to come down a little bit more, so I'm gonna... Okay, I like it. All right. Well, now you know how to get rid of the noise and the vibrations and uh, a running toilet by replacing the fill valve. I also have a video on replacing a flapper and uh, well, you never know when your toilet's going to clog up and I have a real good video on three different ways to unclog a toilet. So check those out. Hey, by the way, I've written a guide on how to save 500 bucks on simple home repairs, seven simple home repairs that even my mother could do. I'll leave the address down in the description below. And if you like the video, please like it, comment, and subscribe.